And then let's talk a moment about pork, ham, bacon, pepperoni. These are some of the things that the scripture tells us we should not eat. The ushers have already locked the doors. And of course, this has to do with anything that comes from a pig, a hog, a swine. And I know some of you love pork chops. You love ham and cheese sandwiches. I grew up on all that. I love bacon. But for our health sake, we have to be willing to make some changes. God knows what's best for us. And back in the Bible days, the pig was considered unclean. It was never considered a source of food. And one of the main reasons why was the pig will eat anything. A pig eats waste and garbage. This is kind of gross, but a pig will eat its own dead child. A pig will eat other sick and infected animals. They're scavengers. And what's interesting is the pig has one of the quickest and poorest digestive systems of any animal. It takes only four hours, and that's not good. Because the digestive system is so quick and so poor, many times the toxins from the food are not properly eliminated, and they are stored in the pig's fat. That means that pig can eat all kinds of filth and garbage. It can eat other infection. Four hours later, it's sent to the slaughter and butchered, in a few days, it's on your plate at home. You're having ribs. The problem is the toxins were never properly eliminated from the pig. On the other hand, the animals that God says are okay for us to eat, like cow, lamb, deer, buffalo, these animals eat fresh, clean vegetation. Their digestive system is much more sophisticated. In fact, a cow basically has three stomachs. And that fresh, clean vegetation is processed through a digestive system that takes 24 hours. Think about it. 24 hours versus 4 hours. Would you rather eat an animal that eats waste and filth or an animal that eats fresh, clean vegetation? An animal that poorly processes the food and stores the toxins in its fat or an animal that properly eliminates the toxin from its body? I don't know about you, but I don't want to take a chance of putting that kind of...